I hear there's a new C-sharp A feature called using declarations. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Hi, hey, Myra, I'd love to. I mean, as you know, using declarations and using statements are a way for us developers to tell .NET to let go of an unmanaged resource like a file stream or a network or a database, just to say, hey, we're all done with it. You can go ahead and get rid of it for us. So let's take a look at some code so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about and how we can do it with this new C Sharp 8 feature. Let's do it. All right, so first I wanna take a look at the way we had to do it way back in the olden days. And it looked like this, in order to get rid of a file, let's say, when we no longer needed it. And so the first line up here, what we were doing is that we had to declare a file stream. And then down here, we are essentially instantiating and or opening it up. And then we would actually do something. And then way down here in the finally, we would say finally, get rid of it, dispose of it for us. And so there's a whole lot of lines here to actually new it up, use it, and then get rid of it. And so what we did eventually is that we got to this using a using statement. And so what this using statement did is that it actually tightened things up and made it more succinct for us. And so all this is saying is using file stream, the variable name, and then open write, and then the path to it, and then we could do something. So shorten it up a lot for us, and then the compiler implicitly called dot dispose for us right away. So, but you notice something here, I'm still using a lot of curly braces and by time, I'm actually getting to it, I'm indented three times. And so if I needed to use this file stream variable for the entire scope of the main function, for example, it's really indented and it's kind of hard to read for me. And so that's where C-sharp ape comes in. I can say right here then, just using file stream, file stream, file that open right, all in one. Awesome, so you're declaring that variable with the using keyword in front and then removing the curly braces from your code. Exactly, um, getting rid of the curly braces and now I can use this file stream variable, just like it was any other variable in .NET, like an int or a string throughout the whole scope of the main function, but yet .NET, the compiler is smart enough to know to call the dispose function on the file stream variable and it then gets on gets rid of the unmanaged resource for us. It cleans up everything. And so we don't have to worry about um, things floating around and causing memory leaks. That looks great. Thank you so much, Matt, for, for sharing this with us. And for more information about this feature, check out the documentation resources below. Thank you. Thank you.